Willie has a history with addiction heard often on Portland streets. Well, years ago, I started off with heroin, never shot up, went to um, the fentanyl pills, now the powder. And lately, a new hidden drug. It's in the uh, fentanyl, right? I guess um, the trank is used for animals. Obviously, the tranquilizer somehow, some way it got into the fentanyl, the opiate. He's talking about an animal tranquilizer called xylazine, known on the streets as Trank, a flesh-eating drug making its way across the Pacific Northwest. I never experienced anything like this in my life, so it's it's very uh, life-threatening. The first time Willie smoked Trank, it was laced in his fentanyl. Mm, I just know the dope was good. And some of my buddies they were like, no, you don't want to take that. I don't want to smoke that no more. That has Trank in it, the Trank in it. So I stopped taking that. It was too late. The drug had already infected his feet. So I just got came from the hospital or whatever. This is actually good. So I'll be able to scrub all this, all this pinkness around here. It's good. Before, it was green. All this was green. I experienced maggots with it. I experienced gang green. This happened because of the trend, yeah. Multnomah County Health Department data shows one person died from an overdose involving trank and fentanyl in 2022. Five people died in 2023. There are no confirmed deaths involving trank so far this year. Fortunately here, we're still in the single digits. So. Dr. Teresa Everson is with the Multnomah County Health Department, where they're watching the rise in trank closely. So the first thing that we always go to in public health is education, making sure that people are aware of what exists in the local drug supply, making sure folks know how they can stay safe. That, and it's not gonna close up or go away unless you take a break from the fitting off. So is Trank and what it does to you really the turning point for you to get off drugs? He had to think about it. That and I know that I know better than what I'm doing. Oh, eyes wide open, right? Blair, a trank on its own is not an opioid. That means Narcan will not work. What are officials doing right now in case this trend worsens or uh, continues? David, the County Health Department is working closely with law enforcement, testing the drugs they take off the streets to try and track the rise in trank. And they're still seeing low levels compared to other East Coast cities like Philadelphia or Baltimore, even Clark County in Washington, where we're now seeing reports that fentanyl laced with trank is nearly doubled in the drug supply there.